kill. The overshields one for one. Nobles just locked in his second for Lord. Two dead. Make it three. Trippy all alive, all alone on blue brick. Excuse me. Triple kill for Noble and Dead Zone could be about to be the over. That's again always going to be a concern against a team like Optic Gaming because Optic are very good at adapting. Optic are very good at learning on the go against the teams that they're facing, and they will start to notice patterns. But Drift gets a triple kill. It was 108 to one point, and now just like that, Quadrant already leading by 40. And the scary thing here for SSG is a squad spawn in blue. That means they're going to be vulnerable to grenades. All the chokes they have to wa walk through, they're going to take damage, and it's just about cleaning that damage wow. up. And it's exactly what Seeker is doing, a double kill for him, it's SSG. And they've managed to get control of one of the strongholds. Now you're going to see the battle bottom middle. Snipe Drone gets a kill onto Bound, stays alive as well. Seeker gets another, and it's going to be all up to Legend against his old team to keep his team in the game. Oh. Can he get the stick? The answer is yes. Amazingly close here. Four points is all they need. But that four wow. points might as, be, might as well be 250 oh, no. as Stella is starting to take over this game. Huge from Stella. Oh. He doesn't take any damage. No trade, no damage at all. Oh. Stella with the triple kill at an unbelievable time. Seeker's the only player alive. It's Cafe spawns. It's Camo for Stella. Back, take three members of his ex-teammates down and gives him that three to one lead. Something to keep an eye on as he has the QT is the 1v1 with SLG, wow. which he wins not for the first time in this series. Love the confidence too. A lot of players that in a high stakes situation might hit the QT early just like that. Oh, Look my, oh my God. Oh man, talk about being two places at once, getting the job done. We're trying to push up to Ness, takes a little bit of damage and gives away a kill. It's gonna be the most comfortable double kill you'll ever wish for. If you're bound, two players just walk into his reticle. It might even be three. He turns around the corner and it is three. Seeker subs Action not gonna be there and now the pressure's gonna come in. They know he's weak, they flood in. Stella, Legend, get another. It's 19, make it 20 for Legend against his old squad. Oh, no! And the triple a kill. It's a much more solid start in this game. A snipe drone. Oh! Says to Legend, nice last game. It's my turn to take over now. Maybe. One to zero on the board. Quadra are going to be very happy that that one comes the other in. points. And now with 358 left on the game, Ooh. Clock Glory connecting into Whirlpool. Dude. Just how much talent this man has individually. With a shock rifle in his hands, he is a problem. And look at the progress already here. It's another shot connected for the killing spree. Stella might be next as well. And Quadrant are on the precipice of going two hills up. Three, two. On the game clock, they go up three to one. Camo coming up in 10 seconds as well. Legend going to get picked off by Glory. Glory, who is having quite Boy. the game at the moment. He says, I see your 21 kills in the last game. I'm on 20 myself. Three to one with 57 seconds left on the game clock. As a reminder, of course, for everyone with anyone in the hill, that game clock will pause. How is he alive? 
Unbelievable shots from Legend against Glory. What a 1v1 at Tower. An opportunity already to run this one towards him and think about running it around Tunnel. But look at that overextension, yep. Andy. You were, you were whacking your finger. You saw it straight away. I was. Three players overextending. However, Eco's still here. Great play from Cypedrunk to be aware that Eco was there. Now they only have to worry about the overextender sure coming in through Rat Tunnel. Shots all ready to bound. Look at this route, by the way, from Cypedrunk. That's such a smart thing to do. He knew he had no shields. He knew he wasn't in a position to challenge and take down bound if he would have turned around. He has to go to touch right now. Legend's gonna be there, but he's met by the sniper rifle of Legend! Legend with the no scope, while Eco is running it home. It's gonna be the final flag here, and SSG will close out the series. Three to one. I mean, yeah, Legend's an exciting player. Uh, I don't really know how to categorize him. He kind of just like doesn't miss and moves really fast. I guess it's kind of like me a little bit, but probably a little bit of better so shot. Gets, uh, he was getting loud. We're not really used to like the loudness. I'm really used to scream, but he's kind of just screaming and hyped and it kind of was like giving me, getting me going a little yeah. bit. So it was pretty hype. It was awesome. You know, you it's know, a lot of pressure for a young guy, obviously the youngest player in the league now um, in, in Wootim. So we'll see how he handles that. Last player at green from Cloud9, but Jimbo is on the respawn to pick this up. It's denied by Septify with the double, and that's the importance of playing the ball. Oh, triple kill by Septify. They had the kills on the board. They were Let's there go. for the ball. And Septify takes down all four for the overkill. An overkill here for Septify in round one. He needs to get damage. He also needs to get time. When does he decide to play ball? And oh, it's played They're down. a little bit early. They still do not have the extra second. And you know, all eyes are going to be on the tunnel. Septify coming from Pillar side. Someone over at Dummy Doors. And everyone's going to congregate in the bottom middle for this last little fiasco. 77 apiece. Ball gets picked up by Diagram. Does he get that last second? Yes, he does. 78 guards the ball. Right. That, you can see Cloud9's prioritization on the camouflage. But in the meantime, that ball time was important. In the meantime, Diagram hits the no scope for the double. It lands a body shot that he can't quite clean up. A see who gets finish. control of those power ups, who gets control of these first strongholds. And let's kick it off. Wudo just laying down so much damage. Long haul and over at Sneaky. Gets the flank over towards bottom control. Double kill on the board for Wudo, and he's not stopping. He's going for the seed. Yeah, and look at this battle still taking place. Fighting, getting so many shots and so much damage on market. Killing spree at the end of this game here. So needed there for the faux roster. What do you see in clutch? We're going to a game five day. Moments away from Foe coming back in game four. Down 2-0 to finding themselves first to 50 kills for a top eight position. Difficult balance being that perfect flanker. And you saw right Jimbo. there the damage of being a little too far away. I love the Rumble. fact that he backs up to tower. He's going to have some pressure on him from front tower, Ooh. but realigns that, knows that the quantum was back at green, finds the kill. Separate the two, and Wu Tum smells blood in the water. He knows players are no shield. And here <laughs> comes Wu Tum. Acquired. He's back tower looking to make some pressure. Oh, so my. <laughs> me with the no scope. Push to back flank from Mud. Two kills picked up by Jimbo, and you hear Foe popping off. Rightfully so. Down 2 1 the series. Wood up. Showing off the keyboard to the crowd and saying, I'm better. I'm different. Look at me. The first ever bouncing keyboard player to place top eight in the history of Halo. Wu Tub, your name will ring in the history books of Halo. After the dub, this whole place was chanting your name. Wu Tum, what do you want to say to them and everyone supporting you at home across the pond? What do you want to say to your fans? I love you all. I love the support. I love all the MNK players and all the controls players as well who support me. It's amazing. I appreciate it very, very much. But speaking of turning around, at the moment, Renegade's just turning left, turning right, trying to get a play ball, and that's exactly what he does by sending that repulse. Oh, repulse boy. To the back of the odd ball as he sends dead zone to sleep. Use that close range weapon effectively. It could be the lead getting a little wow, bit bigger, but this. here comes the double push. Formal will manage wow. to get two, but Frosty answers yeah, straight two back. Two spawners coming in from FaZe. Lucid what has 17. a run. Lucid 17 and seven in a game that they lead by nine. The Optic fans can feel it. And so can Frosty as is a killing spree for Trippy. A double kill for him in that battle. One shot, Royal 2, surely the last kill as Formal will find it. Optic now with a 50 to 39 win. The trip cap.
response from Optic Gaming. I love that from Optic, the aggression they showed. I don't think there's been times where oh, oh, we've seen oh, that level oh. of aggression. Scoring at the 215 mark. Another kill, another killing spree here on the side of Optic. It's starting to get into a situation where it's desperation oh, for FaZe. Lucid finds oh, one, boy. Lucid is taking oh. FaZe apart. You're wearing green, how does it feel to play with those boys? I mean, it feels like the best thing in the world. You got some new Optic Gaming fans who are supporting you and who've been cheering you all weekend. What do you want to say to them? Love you guys, man. He loves you! Couple of kills traded off left and right. Soul Snipe's gonna be another killing spree locked in for Bound. If he can get this one, it'll be huge. Suppress continues the challenge. Watch out, dice. Watch out, dice. Two shot dice. Tower, 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 tower. Dice was weak, dice was weak. And tower, and tower. Early signs that it's certainly doable as unfortunately Spike grenades don't really do the damage that was intended. Now SSG, it's a double kill from Eco, and he's looking for more. Makes it a triple, and that's going to be bad news for Rebellion. Themselves a significant lead, even if they've died, if they died oh. they have time to get back. SSG chance. I heard around the arena, Bounce got one, Stellar another. The damage oh. is going to favor SSG here. Ten seconds remain, we're all tied up. But SSG have the ball. Eco's put so much damage into Suppressed as he runs away. Running out of time, Soul Snipe's got hands on ball! Mental's got it! SSG do just enough! I don't think they did! They didn't! I don't think they did! I think Rebellion, they snuck that one right from under their nose! They... Rebellion have taken the lead. How long is the question? Can they keep SSG at bay? A lot of time left in the round. Both teams taking this one far more serious than the last. They have to play this one perfectly. The issue is they've given up the first pick. Eco's got the second, looking for the third. Soul Snipe gets one. Cycle's gonna fall as well. All four dead for the Rebellion. New, ha New Rebellion have what it takes. They're running out of time. Eco tries to play it. He does play it. There's still time. One minute remains. One, minute. one last chance. Three were dead for SSG as well, so Rebellion really do have a chance. They nicked up all the way. Off spawn, SSG, where do you go? One's already fallen. Camo's up, but where is that ball? Suppress gets the ball played once more. This is a madness. One second for SSG. Six for Rebellion. Bodies continue to hit the floor. And it's Stellar with a bound, excuse me, with hands on. SSG win game one. Watch out, bitches. Watch out, bitches. Miss one, miss one. Yeah, miss him, guys. Watch him, guys. Watch him, watch out. I got him. Put it, put it. I have stuck on Mikey, Mikey. I rarely see this be good news for any team. I can promise you that. Stella gets one. Spine tingling. Hits the second for the double kill. Stella will capture B, but for how long will he stay alive? The answer's not long. Not long at all. Bound on Batlet, continues to jiggle peak. Steps out just one pixel too far. Has his face ripped. Oh, right off. Oh. And Eco joins him, as does Legend. But it's Depressed who tips his toe into the hill. Loses his face for it. Legend's gonna hold it with the shock rifle. Match as Space Station will march on to the winner's finals. And it's gonna be a matchup against Optic Gaming. Uh, it's been great playing with him. He hits every bullet. He does a lot of objective, and uh, he fits in perfectly. I don't feel like we've really had to change much up, and there's no like uh, language barrier at all. We can understand him completely, and it's going well. Player to push his team to that top four, push them to championship Sunday. Takes down Soul Snipe. Has help with him. They're gonna collapse quickly on the green side. Three members surrounding the final two of Shop. By rebellion, that's a clean three down. To pressure together, right? Get your shields back, go in healthy, and then get control. And that's exactly what they've done. Look at that. It's almost tied up in the hill time. Oh. Holding on to that next side with the sniper. Was able to get away with the sniper once again, but the spawners are oh. coming in quick. Fourth hill, a minute left, but that's not going to be a factor whatsoever. Two down for Shopify. This might be it. They were down one three in the game, but a massive come. That could be it. A double kill out of Woods up to close it out. That's the best for Sticky. Come on, come on. Hobby stacks, hobby stacks. One is one is serious. Third. Stacks, stacks. Bottom mid, bottom mid, guys. Bottom mid. Bottom mid, they're trying to do it. Little, 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 little,
Beautiful no scope onto Soul Strike. Multiple going down. Nice. It's not about the KD. It's more about that those is, that assist column and that damage column as well. Two down for the side of foe. Suppress has control. The bat so far. They have influence. They can slay their way out of it, but apparently they can't. Shopify Rebellion are relentless with their push, and foe are not winning the pivotal battles necessary to keep oh. them out of their flag. Suppress! Before I say that, Wootsum, he grabs camo. This is a great camo out of Woods in that first kill. It's going to allow them to infiltrate this setup. Suppress is going to run away, though. Look at the quick rotation over to the red room side. Beautiful job by the side of Shopify. Wootsum has a flank, though. One kill goes down. Make that two. Shopify Rebellion do a great job of rotating that ball to It looks like it's not going to happen. Shopify Rebellion taking two in a row. Shopify Rebellion, get your church shoes ready. We're going to be seeing you on Sunday. Mental cycle, they're really good players, amazing on land. So much term tournament experience out of uh, Billy especially. He brings so much to the table, you know, amazing coach. Worked our asses off um, in the offseason, you know, put in so much work. Had a boot camp previous to the LAN, and I mean, we're happy to be here, but I mean, job's not even close to being done, so. Push though, looks like it's gonna be coming sandbags instead. Couple of kills get picked up, descended. <laughs> gonna be challenging. Frosty's gonna accept it, hits the body, hits the oh, headshot. Four. four dead for complacency. He's the last alive with a snipe. Oh, very nice work here for precision, though. Oh, oh, even better than nice. He says Royal 2. Whatever you could do. I could do better. Too dead. Descending needs to. Ooh, that very nice repulse. That flag is just about to re. We'll see if a touch comes in. Renegade does get the touch. Perfectly timed. They also get a kill. They get two. This should go home. Should go home indeed. And I tell you what, Ryan who might be the third victim. It's a triple kill Ooh. for Royal Two. Not quite the overkill oh, as Frosty will take it away, but it is perfect. Quick. What was the game plan? I mean, I think we just want to go eat, honestly. We're so hungry, we're like, we need to get the hell out of here. We've been here for like 12 hours, so we just wanted to show like what we're made of, so yeah. You know, does it take a little bit out of you playing at this time of the day? No, nah, I love demon hours. I turn my stream on at like 10 p.m., what time is it? So this is like, this is my time of the night. Gotta go demon mode. This is prime time for you. So you was the true demon on the stage, and the stats showed it. I think we just uh, go back, watch some VOD, and just kind of, you know, I think we were playing just too passive and just didn't have enough passion, honestly. I feel like we now kind of lit a fire under ass, and I think we're just ready to play tomorrow. You know, lack of passion is not something that we normally see for FaZe Clan, but you guys showed a lot in this series, and I know we're going to see a lot more out of you tomorrow. Am I right? <laughs> All right. Any ball incoming. Enemy team scoring.